huh, what the heck is this? It says casein protein, what's that? Oh, uh, casein protein, yeah, it's just whey protein's lesser known, lesser popular, slower sidekick. What is up, people? It's Jean Carlos here with the Total Body Training Podcast, where I help people get lean, gain muscle, and build some damn confidence. And today we're talking all about casein protein. We're gonna break down what it is, if it's beneficial for you, and when you should use it, and whether or not you need to use it at all. <laughs> Let's begin. When you take Casein protein is a protein supplement that comes from milk. It's a milk derivative. So when you curdle milk, you get cheese, you get a few things. Cheese, uh, whey protein, and then you get casein. And casein is a form of protein that doesn't have the same fats and carbohydrates in it that whey protein has. Now, whey protein or casein protein is a slightly more curdled version of protein. So literally, it, it, it's just, I mean, it looks the same in the bag when you look at it, but it actually curdles. And it's for this reason that we'll, go, we'll circle back and talk about this curdling thing and what it does in your stomach, but it's for this reason that whey protein is considered a slow digesting form of protein. A slow digesting form of protein. Now, Inherent in the idea of it being slow digesting is the reason why people like to take whey protein or like to take, I'm sorry, casein protein. So what am I trying to get at here? Casein protein is a very pure form of protein. It's a really great way to get a protein into your stomach and it's easily, it's well, it's actually not easily digestible because it digests slow, but, but here's what happens. Casein protein coagulates. So because it's in these curdles, when it goes into your stomach, it actually kind of starts to coagulate and get really thick and gelatinous. And it's for that reason, and this actually happens when you mix it with water. So if you take a little bit of casein protein and you whip it with a spoon and with some water, you can actually make things like casein pudding, things like that. You cannot do this with whey protein or with vegetable protein, with vegetable protein just being really chalky uh, for the most part, but <laughs> uh, no slight to vegetable protein but it's really chalky most of the time, but uh, I digress. Casein protein, you can actually whip, because it coagulates and it curdles, you can actually whip it down to make like chocolate puddings and things like that to eat your casein protein. That's one option that you can have for casein. Now, because of this whipping kind of coagulating, curdly kind of, you know, texture that whey, that, that, casein protein has, when you eat it, it actually takes longer for your body to digest it because your stomach acids just cannot burn down this coagulation, this coagulated protein supplement very quickly. That's why it's called a slow digesting protein. In fact, casein protein can sit in your stomach, they found it for up to six to seven hours still processing. And here is why this is beneficial and this is actually when you would wanna take casein protein. The reason this is beneficial is because, or when you would wanna take it, is at night. So most bodybuilders recommend taking your casein right before you go to bed. So about half an hour to an hour before you go to bed is like a, as a nightly snack or a uh, late night protein supplement. Now, here's the benefit of this. When you're sleeping, your body is rebuilding. Your body is in a catabolic state and it's rebuilding muscle tissue. And so, one thing that would benefit you and the rebuilding process is if you're feeding your muscles throughout the night. Now, if you eat chicken or you take a whey protein, or specifically a whey protein, it's going to process very quickly because it's a fast digesting, fast absorbing protein, which is better for taking right after you work out when your body is the most broken down. But if you're getting six, seven, or eight hours of sleep, like you should be, hopefully seven or eight, your body isn't getting any kind of fuel to rebuild from those really crazy workouts that you've been doing. and this is when casein comes in because it takes so long for your body to absorb it. It's sort of like it's time released in your stomach. So your stomach slowly works at that coagulated curdle of protein known as casein, sounds kind of gross, that's sitting in your stomach and it slowly replenishes your protein and it helps feed your muscles as they're rebuilding. So from a muscle composition standpoint and building muscle and not letting your body go entirely too catabolic and starving itself and not building muscle correctly, you are going to want to take a casein protein 
at night. Now, do you need, before you go to sleep, do you need to take a casein protein? Absolutely not. You could get away with just eating more protein. You could get away with eating more chicken. Lots of foods, there are plenty of foods that have casein in them. You could take like a yogurt, a Greek low fat yogurt. There are other ones, that's the only one that comes to mind right now. But you can get protein from lots of other sources and you don't absolutely need casein protein. However, if you ask a lot of bodybuilders and people who are really into watching their, their diet, making sure that they're getting the proper amount of protein, they swear by using things like casein protein. If you do not have the money for it, remember, it's just a supplement. Supplements are exactly what they sound like. They should supplement your already good diet. So first, if you can't really afford it or don't want to spend the money on it, just focus on eating right. I can't tell you how many people will, and exercising, I can't tell you how many people will put the cart before the horse. So people People will come to me and ask me about weight loss supplements and like what supplements they should take and things like that. And when I, you know, start asking them about, well, are you working out? And they're like, no. Uh, well, are you, you know, eating correctly? And they're like, eating correctly? What's that? <laughs> I want to eat pizza every day. And while there's nothing wrong with eating pizza a lot, uh, you can't, you can overdo it. And so that's why we want to make sure that we're eating correctly and we're exercising efficiently to even warrant or even start to think about taking a supplement. Casein's a supplement. Whey protein's a supplement. So I would get that, your diet and your, your exercise, in order before even considering adding protein into your, or casein protein, into your nutrition plan and into your everyday life. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I am not sponsored by Ascent Protein. I am not using an Amazon affiliate link, so I'm not selling you anything in here, but I did post a link in the description video to the kind of protein that I like to use. It is an Ascent casein protein. I also use Ascent whey protein. I take that casein protein and I beat it up, I, so I take some uh, almond milk and I mix it. Sometimes I'll throw in some chocolate in there, some cocoa powder, and I'll mix it. Maybe I'll throw in some PB2 powder or something like that and I'll mix it up and I'll make this chocolatey, peanut buttery, proteiny, casein substance that I eat before night and I think it tastes great. Now, if you're not used to eating supplements, you might be like, eh, this is no jello pudding stack. And I get that. It doesn't, you know, it's not one of those things that's gonna taste really great. I mean, it's a supplement, y'all. But I personally think that this supplement happens to taste a lot better than a lot of the other ones out there on the market. And it's nice to eat a pudding snack like I did when I was a little dude who was just trying to lose some weight when I was in like middle school and I would eat way too much food. And in high school, I'd eat way too much food. And I remember really liking my pudding. So if you're one of those people who likes pudding, uh, you you might want to try out a casein protein pudding snack <laughs> as your option. So just click the link in the description section. You can see in there, there is a link to casein protein. And in another video, actually, that I put out before this one, I talked about what whey protein is and when you should use that. Please take a look at that video if you're wondering about whey protein and its benefits. And also, you know, just remember that if you have any questions for me, you can send me a message right here. And if you want to take a free class with me at Total Body Training, you can click another link in the description section to this video where you can take one free class with me at Total Body Training. If you enjoy this video and you'd like to keep seeing content and you're on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up. If you're listening to the podcast version of this, please, 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 please write me a review on Apple Podcasts, wherever you're at, wherever you're listening to this, please write me a review, it would mean the world. If you're on Facebook, share this with a friend. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments section if there's anything you'd like to see me cover in future videos. All right, people, thank you so much for tuning in to the Total Body Training Podcast. Until next time. Peace. So I went from a size 16 to a size 67, and I've lost currently about 60 pounds with TBT. I've lost 60 pounds since I started here, and the body fat that I've lost is 16.2 percent. I've definitely noticed a lot in like those hard to reach areas, the muffin top, the back fat. It's really slipped down for me. The weightlifting, it's definitely kept me toned, and it's definitely kept me confident to where I can you know, show my legs because I have great quads, you know, with TBT or my arms because I, I can pull myself up or lift. Total Body Training um, offers a uh, one-time uh, free tra training session. So you come in, you get a great workout, and you can decide if you want to join. And definitely you're going to want to join because you won't regret the free workout.